Don't let these people make you so insecure Why you listen to these fools? You can be your hero You can prove everyone wrong And life can feel so right You gotta build a success I'm not to take for life Tell me what's wrong Why you hurt him? Jacob Crouch was born into a culture of cruelty where both of the people who he should have been able to trust above any other allowed him to be subjected to assault after assault. Heartbreakingly, for much of Jacob's short life, he would have been in significant pain as a result of the serious and repeated assaults. Jacob Crouch only lived until he was 10 months old. After his death, a forensic pathologist said the baby's body suffered injuries similar to being dropped from a nine-story building. It's another case of a mother bringing home a man that she loved more than the baby she grew in her womb. A man so cruel, he would be called the stepfather from hell during his trial. Hello, my name is Holly. Welcome to the Murder She Shed, the place we honor the dead right from my little she shed. Just making sure you hit that subscribe button to keep up with me and Simon in the Murder She Shed. Then come join us here weekly for True Crime. Simon, he's my German Shepherd. He's actually inside the house today because I turned off the air conditioner and he is not happy when I do that. But it just helps my mic quality to be better. Before we begin, because this case does involve a child that was horrifically abused, fear discretion is advised. Well, let's begin. Jacob Crouch was born a beautiful, healthy baby in Swaddling Coat in Derbyshire, England on February 17, 2020. He's already growing in his mommy's tummy when she met Craig Crouch. When Craig Crouch met Gemma Barton on a dating app, he felt that she was way out of his league. She was the bomb, he thought. She had blonde hair, beautiful eyes, her complexion was perfect. He said, she was in my eyes, everything I was looking for. I wanted to appear very stable and successful in my career. The moment they met, Craig would tell constant lies in order to impress Gemma. He claimed to be a director at JCB, the company where he worked and made a six-figure salary. He was also the head dog, the big honcho of over thousands of men. He was the boss guy, and he made lots of money. He claimed he even operated the robots in the factory. But anyway, he just continued to lie like that all the way through their relationship. She didn't even find out some of these lies until at the trial. When in actuality, he drove the forklift at the warehouse, which is not a bad job. So why do you need to upgrade? Because he felt it wasn't good enough for Gemma. He wanted to be the best of the best. Sounds like he's kind of a narcissist. He also told Gemma that he met Boris Johnson and was flying around in the JCB helicopter with Boris. Although Gemma was pregnant when they met, he said that he didn't care. He loved children. He had been around children his whole life and he would take care of the baby. The relationship became hot and heavy very quickly. He was even present at Jacob's birth and did not leave the hospital for two days that she spent after she had given birth. Gemma had suggested that Jacob's middle name should be Craig, and of course, they should put Craig as his father on the birth certificate. And so his last name became Crouch, even though Craig was not the father. Craig had played on Gemma's low self-esteem and convinced her she needed his help to be a good mother. She could not do it alone. The first four months of Jacob's life, he was like a new toy to the couple. But when the new wore off, he just became a burden. Craig was dominating, was set in his ways, and was a bully. He imposed his rules on the house and began to have complete control over Gemma. Here is Craig on a recording discussing how he was head of his new little family. As human beings, we tend to follow a hierarchy. What this means is there always has to be a leader in everything that we do. Look at workplace business. You would never have two managers or two directors or two team leaders over the same amount of people over the same department earning the same amount of money. You just wouldn't have it. You have a chain of command. For example, there is nobody here in exactly the same job that I have over the same people over the same departments. 
I answer for everyone. Everyone below me <clears throat> answers to me. If they f up, I get my ass kicked. And then it goes down the chain of command. This also has to stand at home. There is always a hierarchy. Anyway. I should be finished soon. I'll love you to bits. I can't wait to see you. Craig threatened to leave Gemma if Jacob's behavior did not improve. He would call Jacob a little devil on text messages he sent to Gemma. Craig also began to control Gemma's finances and would call her names such as Fat. Here he is on his TikTok profile belittling Gemma. He seems like quite the catch. Babe, I've, I've come to realize why, why you're so ugly. It's because you've got makeup on. All the time. You, you, go and take it off. I ain't got none on. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, okay. Um, you, you're still beautiful, though. You're still, you, honestly, you're really beautiful. It's a natural beauty. Natural beauty. That's what it is. Yeah. You sure you ain't got no makeup digging. on? You keep digging. You sure you ain't got no makeup on? Do you want to put the fade down? Um, um. <laughs> Do you ever look at someone and wonder what is going on inside their head? He moved Jim away from her family and friends in Amber Valley to South Derbyshire. He not only started mentally abusing Gemma, he also began to physically abuse her and Jacob too. Craig told Gemma that she needed to be more regimental with Jacob to not let this take over us, he said. He was starting to get really pissed off with him, he said. Here is a video of Craig talking about killing baby Jacob. No, I am not joking. Very quiet in there. Killed him. No. All around if you Not long after this video was taken, Jacob would be dead. He told Gemma to give Jacob a bath in three feet of water with burning hot water and bleach. In one text message Craig sent to Gemma, he asked her whether she had put back what Jacob threw back down him, referring to vomit. And the baby's mother confirmed she had scooped up the vomit back into his mouth. At some point, Gemma had begun joining him in abusing Jacob. And they created an environment in which they encouraged and applauded each other in their control and punishments of this little baby boy. On social media, however, they always played the happy family. Posting videos, sharing content that wouldn't have raised suspicions. But behind the doors of the small home... The abuse only escalated. Jacob would often get smacked for crying, and they would put him to bed. Gemma texted a message to Craig. I just fed the devil. Now I'm putting him to bed. In another text, Craig would write, If only you could talk to Jacob and tell him to stop his bloody moaning. This was a baby. He couldn't speak. He couldn't walk. And, unfortunately, he would never be allowed to do so because of Craig. His only communication was crying. So that's what babies do. I don't know why people don't get that. That's how babies communicate to you. They're not trying to annoy you. They're trying to communicate to the person that cares for them. They have needs. After Gemma sent a text complaining about her son to Craig, he responded saying, You need to be more regimental with him. If he starts to cry because he has hurt himself, then that's fine. Comfort him. If he starts crying for no reason, then just smack his hand and send him straight to bed until he's settled. You need to be harder on him with this and not let this take over us. This will only get worse if not addressed now. Whether we like it or not, if this continues, our frustration and emotions will build and we will change towards one another. He just began to threaten to leave her. If things didn't change, if she didn't fix that baby, he was going to walk out the door. Like the whole relationship was that little baby's fault. When there were visible bruises that their family and friends would ask them about, they would just give an explanation. There was mention of him hitting himself with his rattle or his teething ring. And where he got facial bruising, they explained that he had fallen into a chair. In a video that Gemma recorded, Craig can be seen repeatedly dunking Jacob underwater of a pool. And before he could cry, he would dunk him again. They seemed to think it was quite funny. Then just a few days after Christmas, on December 30th, 2020, emergency services were called to their home. Craig had called 999, and in the most cold and calm voice, he discussed that Jacob had passed away. Ambulance is the patient breathing. Hello, uh, no, no, he's, he's passed away. 
Okay, tell me exactly what happened. Um, we've got a 10-month-old baby. Um, he was um, struggling to um, eat last night. Um, he brought up his dinner. Um, we have uh, we put him to bed. We kept checking him throughout the night. Um, my partner checked him at five o'clock. She told me that he was okay. He was he, he, everything was fine. Um, he um, okay. I was just going to go and check him, and he's stone cold. He's he's gone. Jacob was found dead in his cot after contracting peritonitis, an infection of the lining of the abdominal organs, and was later discovered to have 39 rib fractures, 19 visible bruises, and several internal injuries. Craig claimed that Jacob had just been fine two hours before the paramedics had arrived. A forensic pathologist would say Jacob's bones were broken on at least five other occasions. They began to heal and then broken again. So sad. He was assaulted with such force that he had a tear in his stomach which became perforated and that led to infection in his body which caused his death. He had sustained blunt force trauma such as a punch, kick, or stomp that had caused that type of injury. She said you could only expect to see this in like car crash victims or victims that have been thrown from a multi-story building. Tragically, if they had called 999 immediately after he was brutally beat, Jacob would have survived. But he was made to suffer from that foul infection running through his little body. After the pair were arrested on January 5th, 2021, they resumed their relationships despite their bail conditions, that they were not to see each other. What mattered to them was their love affair and their love story. Here is the video of their arrest. Okay. You won't need them. I'll, 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 it I'll come just, in just turn around. Right Necessity for your arrest is for a prompt and effective investigation. I don't understand what you're saying. It's got me. Just listen to what I'm saying to you. Just a minute. You're under arrest <laughs> on suspicion of murder. <laughs> listen, you didn't have to say anything, but it may harm your defence if you're not made to bring questions and you're not lying in court. <laughs> and if you do say, maybe giving in evidence. Okay? <laughs> Gemma, your arrest is necessary for a prompt and effective investigation, okay? Gemma, Gemma, try and breathe for a second. Try and breathe. Right, I'm going to put handcuffs on you, okay? I, I promise you, but please don't. We've got to, we, we have to do it with everybody. Because I've got no shoe or anything. We can sort that. We can sort that. I'm just going to put these on. Right, hands behind your back. They both claimed that they were unaware of any non-accidental injury. When the fractures were raised by authorities, Craig said that he had not even noticed a change in Jacob. He wasn't crying or nothing. He never cried, he said. He was never in discomfort. He was always on the go. He said that it didn't even make any sense to him. Craig could not explain the injury to the torso. The only thing that might have caused the rib fracture, he said, was planking in his toy box. Planking in his toy box. I'd say if that toy box is about nine stories tall. Gemma was given 10 years after being convicted of causing Jacob's death in child cruelty, but not for his murder. Because she was not found guilty of murder, Gemma will only serve half her sentence in custody due to time spent on remand. Craig was jailed for life with a minimum of 28 years for murder and three counts of child cruelty. But it was very clear from the evidence found on Gemma and Craig's phones, through text messages, videos, and audio recordings, that they were equally responsible for the cruelty inflicted onto this little baby. Jacob's biological dad, Andrew Smith, never got to meet baby Jacob. He said after the couple were sentenced, All I have is a photo to remember my little boy by. I will never be able to hug him and celebrate his achievements. Jacob Crouch only lived to be 10 months old because he was betrayed by those that should have protected and loved him. Rest in peace, sweet baby Jacob. You are now in your heavenly father's arms. Ah, just a horribly sad case. Might have to go get Simon to tell y'all bye just to cheer y'all up. Because I hate leaving y'all sad. I'm going to stick some bloopers on the end.
Here's Tomo. He tells y'all bye and that he loves y'all and he hopes y'all have a wonderful week. Let me tell him a story about you. This huge sand pile out there that we're going to put under the foundation of our house. So it's a mountain of sand. Let me tell this story. I'm telling on you. I know. I'm telling on you. And every time he goes out there to this mountain of sand, it's about this tall. It's way, way, it's over my head tall. He climbs all the way to the top of this big sand hill and he lifts his leg and becomes king of the mountain every time we go by. Gotta be king of some mountain, don't you, boo -bye. Well, see you later. Bye. Jacob Crouch was born a... My dog's a barking. <sighs> Here my husband comes. See what the crap he's gonna tell me. Me and my husband are fighting today. He said I almost hit his motorcycle with the four-wheeler. I disagree on this. So we're kind of at odds. We're having little fusses. Gemma had said, said he should be named after his new father who uh, suddenly just went brain dead and forgot the last name. I believe my husband's gonna be cooking my supper tonight or he's gonna be cooking his own supper. Because I am not cooking for him. I'm kind of mad at him right now. Just a little mad. I did not hit his stinking bite. Okay, I might have come a little close to it with the four-wheeler. But I didn't hit it. Cannot say I hit it because I did not hit his Harley. I have a Harley too. And I know how you know. They're precious to us. And I would not hit his Harley. I didn't do it on accident. I didn't do it on purpose. But the thought came to me later that I ought to ram that four-wheeler right into his back because I was mad then. But I overcame my madness and I'm so proud of myself. I did not do it. I did not do it. I am innocent of all charges. Bye-bye.